very near and dear to me, the phenomenal, the amazing Dr. Susie Owens, co-pastor of the Greater Mount Calvary Holy Church and the International First Lady of, of Mount Calvary Church of America. Uh, just uh, by way of introduction for some who may not be familiar with Dr. Owens, I want to share a little bit with you about her. She is a native Texan and a product of the Boston Public School System, a graduate of Bethel Bible Institute, where she earned an Associate of Arts degree in New Testament Studies in 1970. And she's also a graduate of Howard University School of Divinity. Woohoo for Howard! And most recently, she achieved her doctoral degree in African American leadership from the renowned Fuller Theological Seminary in Pasadena, California. Uh, Dr. Owens has preached on many platforms, both in the United States as well as abroad. Her unique presentation of the gospel has enabled her to minister to many denominations, organizations, and institutions. And as a result, she is a much sought after preacher, teacher, leader, coach, and counselor. She is the wife of my bishop and my pastor, Archbishop Alfred Owens Jr. And they both pastor together, Greater Mount Calvary Holy Church in Washington, DC, a progressive inner city church with an adult membership of more than 7,000. Most notably, she is the mother of two, Alfred Thomas and Crystal Monique, and the grandmother of seven grandsons. Oh my goodness. Uh, she enjoys the theater and reading, and she's also the author of Unless to Agree, Memorable Moments, and her most recent uh, offering, Soaring Above the Ceiling. It's, it's without further ado that we welcome to the Nicole Mason Show, Dr. Susie C. Owens. Hey, co-pastor! Hey, girlfriend! <laughs> Happy New Year to you. Same to you. What a pleasure, and I am so delighted to be with you this afternoon. Well, I am so excited that you were able to make it. Now, when this, when I woke up and snow was on the ground, I said, now, wait a minute, we've got to get this snow removed. <laughs> yes. So I'm excited that the sun has come out and you're able to share with us and share with our audience today. And there's so much that I want to talk about because you are just so well versed as it relates to women in ministry, as it relates to uh, women balancing so many different things that they have to balance. So I, I want to start with the balancing. Okay, let's start with the balancing. I want to start with the balancing. And, you know, over the years, you have imparted so much into my life personally. Um, but when I was coming to the preaching women seminars that mm -hmm. you had at the church, um, one of the things I know that you talked extensively about was, you know, the balance between your vocation and trying to balance it all. But the thing that I love is that you talk about it as if from an individual perspective, that one thing is not going to fit everybody. Absolutely. So talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. Um, I think when, when women talk about balance and we see what other women do, we think that we can automatically fit in that particular mode mm -hmm. or we can fit in that particular category. Mm -hmm. But really, we have to look at your entire life mm -hmm. and then begin to build a platform that's comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. And so what's comfortable for me may not be comfortable for you mm -hmm. and so we talk about different seasons in women's lives if our children are small mm -hmm. if our businesses are just beginning or if we are employed and our career is taking off or we're in school we're looking for scholarships mm -hmm. and all those kinds of things then we have to add the all of those components to how we begin to balance mm -hmm. so it doesn't look the same for everybody mm -hmm. and I think that's one of the errors we make as women in trying to balance and keep everything going keep everybody alive right. You know, <laughs> yes. and not, not really go off on the deep end. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, you know, what 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 what, what Copasta does or what Elder Nicole does, then if I do it this way, it'll work for 
for me. Mm -hmm. And that is not true. So what you have to do really, ladies, is begin to put all the ingredients of your life together. Mm -hmm. And just like building a wonderful cake or building a wonderful meal, each particular part plays its place in what you do Mm -hmm. and how you achieve that wonderful presentation Mm -hmm. of who you are. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some tidbits that we can share that might meet everybody, Mm -hmm. but underneath, it's really who you are, what you bring to the table, and then family, career, and all those other components that will ultimately bring you into the full design of purpose that Mm -hmm. God has for your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. And I know that that's one of the things that really kind of baffles a lot of women, just trying to figure it all out and how to... Um, schedule their time, schedule their lives. One of the things that you shared in one of our coaching sessions um, a few months back was how you schedule your time. You schedule, um, look at everything, you know, a week out and just plan. So talk a little bit about your planning and, you know, what has worked for you because somebody listening may say, okay, well, I I like that approach or that system because Mm -hmm. it's really a system that each person has to develop. But I liked that when you shared that. Yeah, you have to plan out. And so what what I have learned that works for me, that may work for some of the ladies who are watching us today and listening to us, is that you have long-range goals. Mm -hmm. So you have plans that that fit into longevity. Then you have current goals, Mm -hmm. plans that fit into what it is you're trying to eventually evolve into or eventually accomplish. Those are your current goals and then you have past goals Mm -hmm. so you take all of those components begin to shift them and mix them and mold them and come up with what a plan now for example if you have small children Mm -hmm. and of course that means that they're going to have to have homework they're going to be involved in extracurricular activities at school Mm -hmm. if you're in ministry